What is up, meal prepsters? It's Bobby. And just because summer's over, that doesn't mean I'm gonna let you stop rocking your beach body because I'm hooking you up with a tasty, easy, and delicious meal prepping for weight loss that is so crazy good, you won't even know or care that it's healthy and good for you because we are making yogurt marinated chicken. Spice rubbed and yogurt marinated chicken thighs cooked in a hot cast iron pan and finished with a lemon pan sauce and served with roasted spaghetti squash. Pulled to look like spaghetti and tossed with herbs, lemon zest, and lots of cheese. So if you love healthy meal prepping, that is all about the flavor, super creative, and hooks you up with your weight loss goals, subscribe to my channel. I'm rocking out new recipes every Friday and I want you to join the Flav City community. To get this recipe rocking, I have 10 boneless, skinless chicken thighs in front of me. And the other week I did a wet marinade, but normally I do a dry marinade for chicken. So why not combine them both and do a dry and a wet marinade? Things are crazy here. I still have a beard. I still have a fresh new haircut, but I will be zesting this week. So all will be well in the zester hood. All right, first for the dry rub, let's grab my favorite here, smoked paprika, and then pinch over some cumin. Flip the chicken over and then dust over a little more paprika and cumin. Now that's the dry rub portion. Let's push the chicken aside for the wet marinade. I have just over a cup of non-fat Greek yogurt. To that, rest well, my friends. We are adding the zest of one lemon. Last week, a few of you were just a little worried about me that I wasn't doing any zesting. Then add the juice of one lemon. And then grate one clove of garlic, leave the paper on and use the same zester and all the paper stays on the top and the grated garlic comes through on the bottom. Slap that in the bowl. And then shake in some freshly chopped parsley and give it a good mix up. Now before I smother this all over the chicken, I wanna reserve some of it for later on because I'm gonna dip the cooked chicken into the sauce and make this a twofer. All right, now if I want the yogurt to thoroughly cover the chicken, so I'm gonna transfer it to a large Ziploc bag and then pour the marinade right in. All right, so squeeze all of the air out of the bag. And then even though mama told you back in the day not to play with your food, you have my full blessing to squish it and make that marinade go all over. Now the marinade is actually doing two things. Number one, it's adding flavor. But number two, the yogurt has a bunch of enzymes in there. And those enzymes will break down the chicken thigh and make it even more tender. So I'm just gonna set it aside for about 15 to 20 minutes. All right, while the chicken is marinating, let me grab the spaghetti squash. I love this veggie, but it is hard as a rock and fingers are not. They're very soft and easily sliceable. So because I love you and I want you to keep all your digits, here's how to safely open the squash. Place the knife right on the equator and then grab the rolling pin and gently tap it in. Tap it in. there. Now don't worry about the knife. You're not going to damage it because this part is very strong. Just if you catch my Happy Gilmore reference there, tap it in. Tap it all the way through until it cracks open like a pumpkin. Then scoop out all these seeds here. You don't want to eat those. Now we're lucky because right now is the beginning of the spaghetti squash season. I literally think I got the first one of the season. And if you don't want to roast this in the oven, which by the way, you should be preheating at 400 degrees right now, you could also do this in the microwave because a few years ago, my wife and my brother and I were on Guy's Grocery Games on the Food Network, and in the first round, it was make your best noodle dish without any noodles. So my wife cracked open one of these guys, put it in the microwave for 10 minutes, shredded it, I made a primavera, my brother made a big mess and cut his finger open, but we won that round, we won the next round, we won it all and ran around the grocery store and got $18,000, so this is a money dish. Season the insides with a couple teaspoons of olive oil, a generous pinch of salt on each half, and then a few cracks of black pepper. All right, now this guy goes into the oven for about 65 to 75 minutes. All right, let's get back to the chicken that's been marinating at room temperature for 20 minutes. And in case you have not heard me the first 100 million times I've said it on my channel, you always want chicken to come to room temperature because if you cook it cold, it'll be uneven and be tough. So spill this onto a platter. So it's like a, like a tandoori chicken. It is kind of like a tandoori chicken. The only difference is I'm not using red food coloring in mine. All right, now because I can't cook the chicken with the yogurt on there, we have to wipe it off. Otherwise it's gonna burn. 
Well, I think traditionally they didn't, but when you go to Indian restaurants, it's like unnaturally red. So yeah, I'm pretty sure they use red food coloring. So just grab some paper towels and wipe off all the yogurt marinade the best you can. All right, make sure you wash your hands very well after touching the raw chicken. And then I'm preheating a large cast iron pan over medium high heat. Before I add the chicken, I haven't salted it yet, right? I marinated it, I spice crusted it, but I didn't add salt yet. So give it a nice pinch on the top side and then drizzle in two teaspoons of grapeseed oil. And because I don't want to overcrowd the pan, I'm doing my favorite double cast iron pan action. If you don't have two pans, you can just do two batches. Let's get the chicken in the pan. Perfect. Make sure you lay it away from you. You don't want that oil splattering back on you. I've done that before, it hurts. All right, quickly season the second side with a little more salt, and then go down with your trusted splatter guard. Now, because I finally got my Amazon wish list granted, I got one here and I got one splatter guard for the back. Let me first put the chicken in here and then go down with the second splatter guard. All right, the chicken will take about five minutes on the first side and then I'll take a peek. All right, let's flip these chicken thighs. Nice. See that crust right there? That's the spices and the yogurt caramelizing. Just watch it because the leftover yogurt on there could burn. So let's throw the splatter guard back on and go five more minutes. All right, you guys, the last of the chicken is off of the hob and check that out. Beautiful color. The smells up in here are legit right now. Desi just snuck a little piece of the chicken and said it was crazy tender and juicy. We're gonna make it even more flavorful by pushing this aside for a minute and check out the pan. My favorite culinary word, Crusty bits are all up on that pan. I just want to release those, release the crack in the flavor and make an easy sauce out of that. So bust open a carton of low sodium chicken stock. Make sure it's low sodium. Otherwise the sauce is going to be a salt bomb. And then add a half a cup and then use your tongs or a wooden spoon to gently scrape the bottom of the pan. That's going to release all the sticky bits AKA fond in French, but I much prefer sticky bits. And then because I wanna make it nice and zesty, I'm going to take another lemon and another zest because I'm making up for lost time. Zest about half a lemon in here. Oh, zest lemon. Yeah, baby. See, when Desi is surprised that I'm zesting, you know there's zest out of the yin yang in this video, you guys. And then the juice of half a lemon and give it a stir. And then all I wanna do is cook that for maybe two or three minutes until it reduces and gets a little thick. And then I'll finish it with parsley and we're done. All right, guys, things are happening fast and furious. The sauce is just about done, but more importantly, the spaghetti squash is done. Just take a knife and put it in. If it comes out relatively easy, it's done. If it were to hang on and you can't really pull the knife out, give it another 15 minutes. Kill the heat on the pan sauce and then shake in a good tablespoon of fresh parsley. Then mix that in. One of my favorite food porny moments. Just drizzle that sauce all over the chicken and let it get all up in its business. I wish you were here or I wish I could enable smell of vision because this chicken smells ridiculous. That sauce is zingy and lemony. It does have to cool down a couple minutes if you were to eat it right now. And that's a good thing because the squash has to cool down for a good 15 minutes because it's crazy hot. And unless you're like my brother on Guy's Grocery Games and had to do it in three minutes, and burn your fingers off, wait. Take a fork and just rake it back and forth. Get these huge strands of spaghetti here. It's just the coolest thing ever. Now to up the flavor even more, I'm reaching for my favorite cheese of all time, Pecorino Romano. It's the sister or the cousin to Parmigiano Reggiano, and it only has one gram of fat and 20 calories per tablespoon. And it has that salty, rich, earthy flavor. So go ahead and grate in, say three or four tablespoons. And if I haven't made up my lack of zest into you guys already, a little more zest will go a long way and actually add a nice acidic pop to the pasta here. So grate in the zest of half a lemon. And we need a little bit of crunch because there is zero crunch in this recipe so far and that is completely unacceptable up in here. So I have two tablespoons of toasted pumpkin seeds, shake in some fresh parsley. And then for a little bit of spice, finely slice half a red chili pepper. Pinch in a quarter teaspoon of salt and a couple cracks of pepper. And then give it a nice mix up. Mm. And the heat is also making the lemon zest really aromatic. 
Anytime I can get some aromatherapy in the kitchen, I am down with that. Mmm. Okay, it's not pasta, we all know that, but the squash is still al dente. It has a nice bite to it. It has long strands. The pumpkin seeds are crunchy. It's nice and cheesy. That zest is popping. This is a bowl of comforting goodness that I can eat every day. All right, everything is done. The last thing we gotta do is prep our containers for the week. All right, glass meal prep containers, check. Meal prepping for weight loss, check. Before I build the containers, let me build a plate right here and make it look good. And then put two pieces of chicken on top of that along with a nice big scoop of the spaghetti squash. And then for the containers, a couple pieces of chicken and some more squash. All five meals are done for the week and look at that. If that is not some sexy ass meal prepping for weight loss that actually gets you excited to eat healthy, you better check your culinary pulse because that is on point. Speaking of on point, I'm gonna go in and make sure it actually tastes amazing. 28, 29, 30. Guys, <laughs> that chicken is banging with flavor. The spice crust and the spice rub is delivering insane flavor. That yogurt marinade made the chicken crazy tender, tons of flavor on there. That reserved yogurt dipping sauce, it's just flavor on flavor on flavor paired with the spaghetti squash. So much like rich comfort food that gets you healthy and excited to eat healthy. If you want the recipe, it is down below in the description box, along with the storage and reheating instructions, all the macros, all of the kitchen gear I use today is down there too. Make sure you hook me up and subscribe to my channel. Rocking out new videos every Friday. If you wanna see two more super healthy, super tasty recipes, check out the ones below me, but I'll see you next week like I always do. Hashtag keep on cooking. Peace.